It's like we keep you two safe. <laughs> I was like, um, we can use me on Instagram. Um, okay. Thank you. Yeah, whatever. I'll try to film it. Okay, yeah. thank you for coming in, guys. Uh, are you still okay for the morning again? Um, I'm actually gonna ask Griffin to keep doing the problem because he's probably doing it. I will definitely let you know before yeah. 8 p.m. tomorrow. Um, I will be awake all night. So yeah. I will. Uh, all right. Probably. All right. Good luck, guys. Hope you. Sure. Oh, sorry, wait, are you gonna play music around tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you will. Probably. Probably. Very straightforward. Oh, yeah. Okay, first off, got headphone volume on. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Let's go. <laughs> okay. I think that's good enough. Yeah, uh, that's plenty. Yeah. Hello, welcome Hello to there. What Are You Talking About? Camera Edition. Uh, we're live. I'm joined uh, today by commentary box uh, Michael Tuhi. That's Hello. how you say your last name, correct? Yes, that's I've never said it one. before. That is the correct. That's the correct version. When I started getting to know you, I kept on thinking it was um, Michael Tahoy. Yes, definitely a wrong pronunciation. Yeah, yeah, you know. That's the kind of rapport that we've yeah, built up over yeah, the years. Yeah, so, you yeah, know yeah, yeah. I'm talking it's about your name, you know, saying it wrong. <laughs> you're like, that's wrong, you know. <laughs> chemistry, <laughs> chemistry. So you uh, host a show, Commentary Box? Yes, I do. Yeah, that's yeah. what that's been going on for how long? A um, year and a half now. All right, well, Just guess what? a year and a half. We're going we're gonna to slam right into the next segment. Okay. Okay? 
Next segment is uh, the, uh, the first segment. There's a new. It's a new segment to the show. Okay. Okay. So I hope you're ready for it. I'm very ready. And it's um, it's called "What Are You Doing?" Oh. Okay. And it's just it's just you know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Um. Oh, actually, I wasn't ready for this. <laughs> uh, nothing is going on. Um. I, do you want to learn a bit about it myself? Or uh. Not? Yeah. Hit me up. Hit me up. You know. Uh, when's the last time? When's the last time you went swimming? Uh, I cannot swim. You can't swim? I cannot swim. Why can't here's you swim? A, here's a funny story for you. Okay. Uh, so I, when I was younger, uh, my parents paid, paid for swimming lessons for me for like a year. And I was a fat child, so I just kept sinking. <laughs> and were, you I, not, were you not buoyant? Uh, no, not really. I just, I kept sinking and I, I was lazy and just not a good swimmer. Okay. But I eventually learned to swim. And then I didn't swim for like 11 years and I just forgot. You forgot how to swim. <laughs> yes. so wait, wait. I don't, I don't understand when people can't swim because I naturally just float up there. Okay, so I put you in, in a pool of water. What happens? Um. Well, typically my feet touch the bottom, so I'm good. Yeah. Other- but then it goes downhill from there. Otherwise, uh, if if I'm thrown straight into water that my feet cannot touch the bo- bottom on, I will probably thrash around a bit. And uh, yeah. And then you thrash around and then you just like, is it because you like, you like panic, panic and then you yeah. just sink because you panic? Basically, yeah. That's, that's cr- I've never met someone who couldn't swim. I've met people who can't ride a bike. I mean, I also can't ride a bike. Why can't you ride a bike? <laughs> <laughs> My balance is horrendous. What? I probably, I probably could, like, I probably could ride a bike now. But now. when I was, but when I was uh, younger, I nothing. Like uh, my balance was horrendous. Well, everyone's balance on a bike is bad when they're young. I mean, yeah, that's I you know. learn. I know, but even like I was, I was eh, okay on stabilizers. Okay, and then just got, I got I got off the stabilizers. And nope. But what? I don't. I don't. I don't understand this at all. Because <laughs> how bikes work is you just you develop enough speed that the you know your balance doesn't matter. I mean, yeah. you just keep going. You know. Yeah. No. Do I you know. not like you? I just, never got up to that speed. I, can't I was, believe I, I was a, a scared. Do you not, not just get pushed? That's what. That's what I, my dad I, did. I, 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 my dad tried it, and every time he pushed me, I would fall to the side. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm my, pretty sure he has video of it. Because my dad did the did the classic thing. I keep on forgetting we have a we have a yeah. mic. Should we be talking? Do you, what, what do you think? Should we talk to webcam or to each other? Uh, both. Both. Okay. Uh, if anyone if anyone's listening in and wants to hit up the what are you talking about Facebook page and what they prefer, um, you know just. Just, you know, hit hit us up. We got a message board. It's basically just me and then the WhatsApp chat. I mean, not a WhatsApp chat, but it's, see, you can see here. Yes. See? yes There's I people engaged. It. Oh, oh yeah. my God. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Um, hey, oh, it me lighting up the message boards. See, like there's 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 a camaraderie <laughs> amongst amongst I and the listeners here, I think. And I think this is only going to build it. You know, the listeners never seen me or Slippery Philip before. <gasps> Slippery Philip's here. We, we for- yeah. you I forgot. forgot to, I, I completely you forgot, forgot even he was it. even here. Slippery Philip, um, unfortunately, Slippery Philip doesn't have a mic today because there's only two mics. Yeah. But hopefully, you'll be able to hear him a little bit, and it won't sound too awful on because uh, he's quite close to Michael's mic. So, Slippery Philip, how are we doing today? I can hear him a little bit. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Aw. I understand. I kind of, I kind of get that. Yeah. Yeah, Slippery Philip. Um, he's a little. I don't know if you could. I don't. No one really understands Slippery Philip, and nor people over there. But Slippery Philip, he's a little. He's a little self-conscious today. He's never been on the camera before. You know, we've had pictures I, taken I with him and stuff lovely. like that. I think he looks fantastic yeah. as well. And I. I mean, no one's ever seen his keyboard as well. It's a nice. Yeah, Casio his keyboard, keyboard is fantastic. Yeah, hopefully he'll play. Hopefully he'll play us a little bit. A uh, <laughs> little little ditty later, you yeah, know. Maybe. But, wait. Oh, what time is it? What are we at? Eight fifteen? Six fifteen? Six fifteen. All right, six fifteen. All right. Well, that was what are you doing? What do you think of what are you doing? It's a new segment. I'm trying to. I'm trying to gauge. I'm trying to gauge interest like it. in it. I like it. You like it. What do you uh, like about it? Uh, I like that it's asking me a question and I can answer it. You can answer it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, you didn't really answer it. Though. Well, what, I didn't. Actually what are really you doing? Um, I am doing this li- live stream right now. Yeah, and you had you had a show at three p.m. today. I as had well. a show at three p.m. and I have um, my weekly show, of the Commentary Box, which I do with my friends Anthony and Pozrick. Uh, and that's at 1 p.m. on a Monday, if mm-hmm. you want to listen into it. Um, I am 
hoping to be getting involved in some musical suck and drum suck. I stuff. saw. I mean, I've never seen you in a musical, but I saw. I uh, when I when I added you on Facebook, I saw you a musical boy. Uh, I've see. I I before I got to UCD, I wasn't that big of a fan of musicals, mm-hmm. and now that I'm here, it's just like blown up. Uh-huh. Are you a good singer? I think. What can you sing? <laughs> well, no, I, I can sing. Like I can sing. But like, can you can you can you sing me something now? Oh, um, do you know any sea shanties? I've, not really. No. <sighs> okay. Well, like, what can you sing? Give me, give me, give me a song. Give me a song. Give me a song. <laughs> I actually don't know. You know any Beauty and the Beast? Um, no, I, I wasn't. I actually have never watched it. What? What? Yeah. What? <laughs> what do you mean you never watched Beauty and the Beast? I've not, I was I was not a Disney child. What have you done? I wasn't a Disney child. What was your what, what did you grow up doing? Um, you didn't ride a bike, you didn't swim, you didn't watch Disney. What the hell, what, what did you spend? All as your I time said, doing? I was a fat child. So Did soon no, I I was a big kid as well. I was I was I was a huge kid. You know what I mean? I didn't I, I still I still, you know, partook I still partook in, in childhood activities. Uh, I played a lot of sport. Uh, what kind of sport? Uh, I play rugby now, but I was uh, was football and Gaelic football when I was younger. Mm-hmm. Wait, I'm just I'm just sorry. I'm just getting a message. Uh, do a mix of both. Make the viewer feel like the third member of the conversation. <laughs> I love this. I love this. I love that idea. I love that idea. Okay, so periodically, if you're talking, I want you to make eye contact with the okay. camera. Yeah. Okay, and we're going to create kind of like a like we're gathered around kind yeah. of vibe. Actually, like a, a little triangle. Yeah, I I mean, what we could do, what we could do. No, 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 that's too much. That's too, I was going to get a fireplace up here, <laughs> and I was gonna I was gonna pull it up. Um, my feed froze, and maybe I'm behind. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, fair. Yeah, yeah. Um, never mind. So some technical difficulties. I mean, I'm probably not technical difficulties on our end. Yeah, you know what no, I mean? no, we're no. doing a great job. With Technically, the we're brilliant. Yeah. Hey. I like that one. All right, now what we're going to go over to now, okay, is um is a is a segment that we're running through. We've got we've got a leaderboard going throughout the whole um the whole se- this season of what are you talking about basically, right? And basically what we do is we you're going to drink a pint of water, okay? You're going to drink a pint of water, which is pints are roughly around 560 milliliters for you folks back home, you measurement fanatics, but since a pint is kind of a difficult unit of measurement to carry around. Tip- people typically just drink 500 milliliters of water on this show. And they have to down that and answer 30 seconds, uh, answer 30 questions in a short amount of time as possible. So we call this the quick water lightning interview round. And we find out a little bit about Michael, a little bit what he knows about water. And, you know, we have a lot of fun. <laughs> How do you think of what do you think about that tagline? Um, needs more water. Needs more water. Okay. Okay. See, I'm workshopping. I'm workshopping. We're still early days in season two of What Are You Talking About? And season two of What Are You Talking About? I'm trying to do different things each time. You know what I mean? I'm trying. I'm trying to broaden, broaden the horizons, if you will. Yeah, yeah, hey, like hey. One. See, here's the problem with doing a webcam show: is that when I when I do like a shitty joke and I point, <laughs> you can see it on there. You know what I mean? So it's not something I wholly enjoy being a factor of <laughs> factor of visual. And also, I didn't dress up for this. I'm gonna, I have a costume for... Oh, yeah. Well, welcome to What Are You Talking About? And because we're also doing a show at 12. Midnight. 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 We're ushering in Valentine's Day. So it's going to be... It's going to be maybe... The maybe, sexiest show that we It's going to be pretty... It's going to be pretty good. It's going to be pretty good. We're covering... Uh, it's a brand new segment. I'll probably explain that. I'll probably explain that on... When the, t- when the stream actually shows up. But right now, I'm just getting distracted from the main issue at hand, which is... The quick water interview round. So basically, this quick water interview round, we're going to hit it up for now. Once I get my phone out. Ugh. What's your favorite kind of water? This isn't the, this isn't the section. This uh, is just me still, asking you a question. Still. Having, still water? Yeah. But like, I mean, you know, uh, embellish it a little bit. A Ballygown. Ballygown? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Ballygown, really? <laughs> Ballygown. Or maybe Tipperary. 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 <laughs> Tipperary sucks. Tipperary is the water you get. Tipperary... You, you're just giving out to me about everything. Well, no, like Tipperary. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But Tipperary is so bad. <laughs> Tipperary is the water you just get when... Um... Or uh, or what, what's the one they sell in Aldi that, that comes in like packs of 64? 
Oh my god, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't believe I have you on my show. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. I should, I should, I should have a guy who fields my guests. You know what I mean? Because this is absolutely like the at Ireland account. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. The at, the at flipping Ireland account. We won't, we won't, we won't get into. You should, you should apply for that and just do water stuff. Like oh my god. I wish. I wish we could just. Oh man, I'll get Slippery Philip to apply for yes. that. What do you That's think, Slippery idea. Philip? Like he's into it. Oh, you think that, but actually, he's absolutely oh. he hates the idea. Oh, okay, he okay. absolutely hates Come the on. idea. Yeah, sorry. sorry. This is the problem. People try sorry, and Phil. think they understand slippery Philip, and like I appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate it, but no one really gets slippery Philip. You know, I've had I've had people have full conversations with slippery Philip on air, and I've had to explain to them after the show that they didn't get it. Except for this time when I told you on the show. Yeah. But, you know, I'm just, I'm just in that kind of mood, Michael. You know Fair. I mean? Thank you. <laughs> don't don't thank it. me. I appreciate, I appreciate your honesty. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Yeah, I'm being raw with you. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is, this, is, this is kind of a raw take on uh, uh, what are you talking about. Speaking of raw water, it's coming up. Don't worry about it. I've a lot of requests. You ever heard of war, raw water? I have water. Not. Oh, my God. Okay, I know we we're supposed to be doing a segment. But we got a whole hour to fill, so it's fine. <laughs> okay, let me sh- let me tell you about raw raw water. I'm so bad at with mixing my W's and R's. So basically, rich people buy contaminated water, and it's really expensive, and that's it. And it's like gross and stuff like that. So basically, it's raw water is naturally found water in the environment that has not been treated and does not have any of its minerals, ions, particles, bacteria, or parasites removed. Raw water includes rainwater, groundwater, water from infiltration wells, and water from bodies like lakes and rivers. Why? It's dirty water. What? Why? <laughs> there are campaigns to clean dirty water that I've that I've seen my entire life. You know, on TV yeah. shows like Trocra. Uh, is Gold still around? Gold is still around. Yes. Yeah, Gold's still around. Hey, you know, but we're not. You know, let's not talk about other charities on the stream. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So, sorry about that. <laughs> um. Oh yeah. Donate. It's a charity stream. Yes. I'm meant to be talking about Definitely donations. Don't, uh, donate. Yeah. All right. It's here's the thing. Here's the skinny. Running here's along the skinny. The bottom, I'm, I think. Yeah. Sorry about this segment that I keep cool. on delaying because I wanted to talk about raw water. You know, it's a stream it's of giving me more time to prep for it. Just, oh, true. Yeah. True. Like, you're going to open up your gut. Gotta I'll ask you about your water. strat. I understand. Wait, what? Be the water. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, the, the level of focus you're applying to this is absolutely incredible. And I really appreciate the webcam presence because now we can't see it. Yeah. Yeah. We have proof of the timing. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's so true. Yeah. Norm- normally, I can just bullshit. Yeah. All I want. But basically, guys, the stream you're watching right now, which is me, Michael, and Slippery Philip, is live and part of the t- Belfield FM's 24 hour live stream. Uh, so we are going to be, we have been broadcasting since 12 today, and we're going to be broadcasting until 12 on Wednesday. And this is all uh, to raise money for the DRCC who have been helping people affected by sexual violence uh, since the 1979. So uh, there should be links down below, I think, which is a YouTube thing. Ooh. Links down below. Uh, uh, yeah, you know. Yeah. Hey, it's uh, click the annotation to the left. <laughs> but there should be links down below to uh, where you can donate on our GoFundMe page, and all proceeds of that GoFundMe page will be donated to the DRCC. So please donate. That'd be great. And water you're talking about would really appreciate it. What are you donating for? That's what. Well, that's what we should have called this episode. <laughs> that's what we should have called this episode. What are you donating for? Oh, uh, 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 you think we can edit that in post? It no. doesn't matter. It's going to be after no. by live. <laughs> oh my god, what are you donating for? I have another show at at twelve. You can you can, okay. you can change it up there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you know, welcome to what are you donating for? We're going to just restart. <laughs> this is Michael. Uh, okay. <laughs> so okay. So now we're actually going to get into it. We've talked about raw water. Okay. We've done that. That's out of here. Stop asking me to do it. All right. We've talked about the. We talked about who you donating for. What this is. What's this all? What all this hullabaloo is about? So now we got to get down to brass tacks. We're going to get down to the segment everyone's waiting for. It's the quick water lightning lightning interview round. I'm going to get the timer out, which I was meant to do exactly when I took out my phone the first time. <laughs> so we're going to hit this up. We're going to get to the clock app on my phone. Uh, so let me let's see here's I say this every week but my clock app is connected to my weather app right because I use a widget the clock for those of you know, yeah weather app oh my god <laughs> can you can you do another five minutes on that I was asking you to sing earlier <laughs> all right so we're gonna hit a stopwatch here now the time to beat 
Last week, I had two time, two people on. The time to beat is Slippery Phillips' dad. Okay. Slippery Phillips' dad got one minute, 40 seconds on the dot. Wow. Right? That's impressive. Yeah, Slippery Phillips pretty proud of his dad. Yeah. He should right. be. He should. Yeah, the visual element of this show also means that I can't queue up Slippery Phillips sounds yeah. <laughs> without it being obvious <laughs> that it's happening. Uh, what do you mean f- queue up fl- oh, Slippery Phillips sounds? N- nothing. He makes them independently. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, no, Slippery okay. Phillip. I shouldn't have I made it sound like you. That one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he really, he really said it there, yeah. didn't he? All right, so we've got the section out. Okay, let's ready. Let's go. I'm gonna play the special music. Okay. Uh, this, see, there's a lot of elements to this. Thing. Here's the thing: there's a lot of elements to the show that you don't fully understand, viewers at home. There's not, you know, there's a lot of ins and outs that you don't normally get to see, but you get to see it now. This is absolutely an episode that I'm not podcasting because, <laughs> because how much I talk about the visual elements of the show. <laughs> All right. So we got bada bing, bada boom. Right. Uh, so count me down. Three, two, one. When was the last time you were wet? Oh, no, he's going to down it first. See, this is the kind of strategy we like to think about here, because everyone else is, uh, everyone else tries to try to drink it intermittently, but this guy is trying to down it right now. I'm very impressed with that. You're the first person to try that shot. When was the last Go. time you were wet? Uh, two days ago. When was the last time you made someone else wet? Three days ago. Wet, wet socks or wet underwear? Uh, wet underwear. How much is in a liter of water? One euro. Water that doesn't lather with soap is cold. Uh, uh hard water. Favorite bottled water? Uh, Tipperary. Opposite of water. Uh, oh, a uh, dryness something. I don't know. Hey, name the three stages of water. Uh oh, d- d- oh liquid, so, well, ice, uh, gas, uh, d- like vapor and water. Uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How many liters of water do you drink? Do you drink a day? Four. Ever spilled water on a device? I have. Favorite fish? Uh, bass. Favorite amphibian? Uh, frog. Favorite water show? Uh, what are you talking about? Boats or submarines? Uh, submarines. Orca or a great white? Orca. What comes out of taps? Water. What are clouds made of? Uh, water vapor. What do you swim in? Water. Finish this. Blank, blank everywhere and not a drop to drink. Water, water everywhere and not a drop to drink. What is H2O2? Oh, uh, it's, oh, it's not, it's like, I can't remember actually. It's not you, water. you can pass. It's not water. Uh, favorite water receptacle? Uh, a bottle. Still a sparkling? Still. Uh, still a, ooh, ponds or lakes? Ponds. River Rock or Balligan? Balligan. Flavored water, question mark? Flavored water, yes. Seal or walrus? Seal. Uh, name a stage of the water cycle? Uh, upper. Uh, p- uh, salt water or fresh water? Fresh. Have you ever nearly drowned? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's it. <laughs> And you are 1 minute 58, Ooh, uh, 72. So on the leaderboards right now, uh, it, well, for those of you who've been keeping track at home, on the leaderboards right now, I'm going to take this off right now. Boom. Though I might investigate doing back in tracks like that for the entirety <laughs> of what you're talking about. Though it will make it impossible to edit. Yeah. This is the issue of doing backing tracks. A little inside baseball for all y'all. If you have a backing track in your show and you want to edit out some of the uhs and ahs and some of the kind of like dead air, it's very difficult to do if you have a backing track because it makes it really obvious when you've cut. Anyway, back to back to the show. I wouldn't know that because I don't edit my show. <laughs> so I, I've, I've been meaning to not edit my show and just upload it, making yeah. sure that everything works right there because I feel like that's way better sounding. Uh, but I got really into editing my show when I did a show last uh, with Jamie in the house because it was like, I just, I just sounded like shit on that okay, show. <laughs> <laughs> right, so you did 158, which means that currently out of four people who've done it, you are the third. Oh. Yeah, okay. So you're getting the medal. Nice one. You're nice getting one. the medal. Bronze. Yeah. yeah that's good. So James Mulcahy who's, who's is in last. Front of me? And in front of you is Joe Kylie Fox, who was on ah, last okay. uh, last week. And coming first is obviously no one is no one is still beaten Slippery Phillips' dad, which is incredible. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. He's really about it. He's really about it. Good. Yeah. So Slippery Phillips' dad, Slippery Phil, is still is still high in the leaderboards. But Joe actually Joe actually got one minute forty. 
three seconds, I think. I'll have oh. to listen back to the podcast. I should really be writing this stuff down. Yeah. But Joe really got Joe got uh, one minute, like, 43 seconds. So he was very close to beating Damn. Slippery Phil, which we all was super... I was, I mean, I guess I was hella impressed <laughs> at that, to be honest with you. Right. So right now, I'm going to hit it over to a song. Right. Do you, have, do you know any sea shanties? No, no, I don't. You know any? I, well, I know, like, I know of them. But I, you know, we couldn't request. I w- yeah, one. no, I w- there's no like lyric. I wouldn't know the lyrics ones or anything. Oh, okay, that's fair. Okay, well, I'm gonna hit it over to a. Oh, I'm not asking you to sing. Oh, okay. I thought no, you were. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm asking you. Do you want to request a song? Um, oh, I I can't remember them. It's been a long time since. Right, okay. Since. Well, we're gonna hit it over to Billy Riley. Uh, so we're gonna hit it over to Billy Riley, and we'll be back after this. Billy Riley. Oh, Billy Riley was a dancing master. Oh, Billy Riley, 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 master of a droga. Oh, Billy Riley, oh, Billy Riley, oh, Billy Riley, oh, Billy Riley, master of a droga bound for Antigua. Oh, Billy Riley, oh, Billy Riley, master of a droga. Oh, Billy Riley, oh, Billy Riley, has a nice young daughter. Oh, Billy. Billy Riley, oh Billy Riley, oh Billy Riley, oh Billy Riley, oh Missy Riley, little Missy Riley, oh Billy Riley, oh Billy Riley, oh Missy Riley, oh Billy Riley, had a pretty daughter, but we can't get at her. Oh Billy Riley, oh Billy Riley, had a pretty daughter, oh Billy Riley, screw her up and away we go, boys. Oh Billy Riley, oh Billy Riley, screw her up. And oh, Billy Riley, oh, one more pull and then Billy boys. Oh, oh Billy Riley, oh, oh Billy Riley, one more pull and oh, oh Billy Riley, oh. Oh, we're back. Back already. Yep. Oh, let me just turn it on. Hey, that was very quick. That was very quick. Sea shanties. Sea shanties, they're they're deceptive, deceptively yeah. quick, which is the problem because right now that really totally escaped me. Hope you all saw uh, Michael and I having a bit of a chin oh, wag yeah. uh, while the mics were off. Great joke you told. Oh, really thank you so much. Thank you, you so much. Slightly You're... racist though. Well, see, that's why it was off air. Oh, okay. Right, yeah. right, right, right. So right now we're going. Oh, actually, I was meant to make a theme song for this, but we don't have a theme song for this. But right now we're gonna head it over to Slippery Phillips. Slippery films. Oh, nice one. All right, so I'm going to try and get, which I should have done while the music was on. You know what, actually? Get ready for another song, ladies and gentlemen. Aren't they so lucky? Oh, oh my goodness. Lucky. So we're going to go hit it over to um, another sea shanty uh, called The Golden Vanity. So uh, we'll see you after The Golden Vanity, because I still have to cue things up, because I was just having too, too good of a chin wag yeah. with my boy Michael over here. All right, see you in a bit. Uh, after this song, it's going to be Slippery Phillips, Slippery Phillips. Oh, there was a little ship, and she sailed upon the sea. And the name of the ship was the Golden Vanity. And she feared she would be taken yeah, by uh, the Spanish ship. Oh, shit. <laughs> and pulled the oats from me And he said to the captain What would you give to me If I would swim Whoops. alongside of the Okay, what am I looking up here? What am I looking up? What am I looking up? And sink her in the low and low and low And sink her in the low and sea Oh, I will give you silver And I will give you gold And the hand of my daughter oh. Your bunny bright and be if you sneak alongside of the Spanish enemy And you'll sink her in the low and low and low And you'll sink her in the low and sea Then the boy he made him ready Then overboard sprang he And he swam alongside of the Spanish enemy And with his auger sharp in his side right, he bore And, Actually, I'm keep and he sank her in the low and low and low Turned around and back swam and, and he cried out to the skipper of the golden band. I mean, I, I just don't know what did not heed but we got a promise he would need. And he left him in the low and low and low. He left him in the low and sea. He left him in the low and sea. Hey 
guys. What's up? The mics have been on that entire time. You, 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 you didn't hear some of our banter, but you may have heard a good bit of it. Yeah, a good bit, a good bit. Where I revealed that uh, Michael was with me when I watched, uh, when we watched yes. the Slippery Phillips Slippery Film this week. And Slippery Film, Slippery Phillips Slippery Film this week is, of course, the SpongeBob SquarePants movie it wasn't meant to be that originally though was it no it wasn't at all uh the original idea the original film that slippery philip threw out was uh the spongebob squarepants movie the spongebob squarepants movie uh sponge out of water from 2015 and sponge out of water is a is so bad i made it through about five minutes of that and i just couldn't handle it anymore the sponge out of water starts with like this like zoom in on the ocean and then it goes like down but then it goes to antonio banderas as a pirate in his really goofy pirate getup and then he gets like he has like a lame ma- lame boxing match with a skeleton and like there's no heart to it you know what i mean it's just it seems so sterile but with the spongebob squarepants movie i mean were you there at the start when you watched that i was yeah like with the spongebob squarepants movie it starts off so hype you got like you got like all the pirates and they're like searching for the pickets of the Spongebob Squarepants movie and then they get it and then they do the theme song to Spongebob and then they run into the cinema because they're like in your viewing experience with you. Like it's incredible. It's just, it's, 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 oh, it's invigorating. You know what I mean? I was so hyped at the start of that movie. I just could not believe it. It's so, it's so good. <laughs> and then the start, start, the opening scene where you get to see with Spongebob is a dream sequence where it's a hostage negotiation um, between like, well, it's, it's kind of like a bomb threat yeah. kind of deal where Spongebob is called in as the manager of the Krusty Krab 2 to defuse a bomb but it's not really a bomb it's a burger oh it's just oh oh my god it's just so good it's just so good but Sponge Out of Water is just so terrible it's so bad I saw Sponge Out of Water I saw Sponge Out of Water uh, the first time in the cinema I saw Sponge Out of Water the first time in the cinema uh, with, when <laughs> So I got a request to stop talking about Sponge Out of Water <laughs> because because, because uh, flashbacks. Yeah, because because I'm triggering somebody. Uh, but basically, I when when me and my current girlfriend started dating, we went to, we went to go and watch Sponge Out of Water because we're, like at, at, in the beginning of our relationship and current growing into our relationship uh spongebob squarepants is is a huge influence uh on both our interests and things that we also like and like we just had an insane amount of knowledge of the series uh together like i don't know like she i think she knows a little bit more uh even Olin, she's the head of art of the show uh, uh she knows a little bit more about spongebob than i do i think she's able to she's able to pick out the refs a little bit better yeah. than me but we have the same kind of experience with the with the tv show so like that was a, that was a huge bonding thing for us at the side of our relationship so we decided like oh my god this is gonna be so good we're gonna go see sponge out of water yeah right so we went to see sponge out of water together we sat down they did a sponge i remember i remember they did a spongebob quiz uh <laughs> with a bunch of kids <laughs> Eva's listening and uh, pointed out that I said current girlfriend. (laughs) I was actually thinking of pointing that out, but didn't want to draw attention to it. (laughs) Have some plans, do you, mister? (laughs) Oh, no, I was just I was just making I was just making a pun on like current as as what that was. I was saying my current girlfriend. I get it. Now. It goes over that's the heads funny. of many listeners, that's but very you know, funny. yeah, it's it's. It that's was, actually very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, some you know, you don't know when I'm going to throw a pun yeah. out there. <laughs> anyway, I think that's the best way of dealing with puns, actually. Yeah, you know, throw it out there, see what happens. Yeah. You know, it's like it's a lot like fishing. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. See, see, it's the connection. Mm. But I remember anyway when we when we went to see it, they did a SpongeBob quiz, and. Oh, because there was a bunch of kids with us. I don't understand. We were the only adults in the audience. Uh, How? <laughs> yeah. How? Why? I know. Why would children want to go see it? I know. I don't know. They don't even get it. But here's yeah. the thing. Uh, look, so they asked much. Uh, they, they had a SpongeBob quiz, and there was like the most basic quiz I've ever heard. It was like, where does SpongeBob live? Uh, where does he work? You know, who's his pet snail? It's like all these basic questions. Like even I decided to not. To not, you know, to not trump these kids in the quiz because you know it's Ooh, a special don't, time. Don't for them. mention that name. Oh yeah, sorry. To yeah. not beat these kids into oblivion in this quiz. So, 
It started off pretty good. You know, we were enjoying the movie. We got SpongeBob masks off oh. uh, the people who worked at the cinema. They gave it to us because, like, they were handing out masks. And Eva and I, like, looked at the person. <laughs> and the person looked at us, like, because obviously we looked at them with, with a certain amount of longing. <laughs> and uh, so they gave us masks, which was very nice. Um, so, so we watched the movie. And this is early in our relationship. And we watched the movie. And uh, what happened after the movie was we left and it was we were so sad and it was pretty hard to go to go on a date with someone and then and then just be so sad <laughs> after a movie like because it wasn't good you know and then it was it was a very trying time for us really, in our relationship and that's why i think sponge out of water um is even worse than it is you know what i mean because yeah. it was definitely it was definitely it was definitely a hurdle that we had to cross it as definitely a, at least broke up some relationships absolutely absolutely like our relationship is obviously so yeah. strong i mean I, uh, you know she's listening you know it's a, it's a very strong relationship <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so um basically sponge out of water get out of here yeah well like sponge out of here am i right am i right that was, uh, that was okay yeah, so instead of doing sponge out of water, uh, I superseded uh, Slippery Phillips' authority and I decided to do the original SpongeBob SquarePants movie, which we watched together and we had an amazing time doing. Um, it's great. We had a whole gaggle of people with us, you know? People were like, what's going on in here? Boom, SpongeBob movie. We had like 10 people watching with us. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's fantastic. Such a good movie. It's amazing. It's absolutely fantastic. One of the uh, arguably should have won an Oscar. Absolutely. But I bet you it wasn't even considered for best no, animated no. feature. You know, which is absolutely ridiculous. But you know what is best considered for best animated feature? It's a little movie um little uh little little movie called The Boss Baby. So I'm currently on the I'm currently on the campaign trail for The Boss Baby right Fair. now. Um I I will not join that because Loving Vincent is my pick. But uh oh. Well, you know, it's you know, you got to back the losers sometime, I guess. Fair, fair. Yeah. Fair. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm not backing it though because of uh, just reasons. I'm, mm-hmm. I, I'm part of a pool, so. Oh right, you're a part pool. of an Oscar pool. Hey, pool. Yeah. I like that. I like that. <laughs> right. So basically, here's 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 the situation. I did the SpongeBob SquarePants movie for this for Slippery Phillips, Slippery Films. I'm gonna go run through basically what the SpongeBob SquarePants movie is about. See, people, I, I I don't think people think I do this. So it's actually good to have a thing. I do this. This yeah. is the thing that I do. Yeah, he runs through it all. Oh my god! Uh, we just got a twenty euro donation. <gasps> oh my god! Nice yeah. one. This uh, I, I take that. That's that's because of what are you talking? I. That's absolutely because yeah. of what are you talking yeah. about? We just got yeah. a twenty euro donation. Thank We're you so much. We're swimming in that cash. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the per- the person's swimming listening in. right now. The person can tell. Oh, swimming. swimming I like it. The person can tell me if they want me to to name drop them for their donation because I don't want to do that for yeah. somebody. Maybe fair. Right. So. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so we're doing we're doing yes, SpongeBob we're SquarePants doing segment, movie. Yes. We're doing SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Uh, so basically, uh, I remember someone told me once when I started doing this show that I'm, I should pre-count these and then write it down so I don't have to keep on guessing. Yeah. Uh, so right now, um, I didn't do that. <laughs> so, <laughs> you want me to count them up so you can, uh, and you can talk about something? Oh, oh no, 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 no. I'm going to count them aloud. <gasps> All right. So. Basically, we, we judge movies here by six criteria, and then we put that criteria through like a blender, you know, a, a, an algorithm, if you will, uh, which I've pre-done. And then we can figure out, you know, what this movie, how this movie holds up based on the, what are you talking about, proprietary algorithm. So right now, uh, one of these criteria is how many bodies of water occur in a scene. Well, it actually, a body of water pretty much occurs in every scene in the movie, aside from one, which is in the end of the movie. So I had I had counted 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 27 scenes with water in it. Uh, you know, if you don't believe me, you can watch it yourself. You could challenge me on that, but that's what I counted. How many times water is said in the script? Is another criteria. Absolutely zero times is water mentioned oh, in the script of this movie, which is absolutely like they said see a bunch of times. <laughs> they said this. It was crazy, but only zero mentions of that. Zero misuses of water in the movie. There were no misuses Good. of water in the Good. movie. Nobody spilled water. Nobody used water for you know ill use. I yeah. suppose. Um, zero characters drowned in this movie. Which well, could, could we say that the freezing of Mr. Krabs would be ill use of water? Yeah, but I believe that that because because when Mr. Krabs get frozen, uh, it's not you know he's not he's not put in water and frozen. Hmm. There's an ad. 
Oh, it's an ad? <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. I have, like, a backing track here, guys. Right. So professional. Yeah. Oh, very professional. So, basically, uh, when Mr. Krabs gets frozen, though, it's, like, it's from Neptune's beam. Oh, uh, okay. It's, fair. like, an ice beam. So, yeah. I don't believe that was ever water at that okay, point. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, it was always a solid, really. Uh, so, there was no misuse of water in, uh, water in the movie, as far as I could tell. Uh, uh, zero characters drowned in the movie. Uh, main character gets wet. Now, this is one, this is one, because obviously you're thinking, you know, it's a movie that's based in the water, right? So, obviously, characters wet all the time, but mm. you're only wet when you're out of water. When you're inside water, like, totally submerged by water, you're just there, you yeah. know? But only when that, when you're wet, when yourself meets air from coming from water is when you're wet. That's basically the rule. Everyone understands it. I think it makes sense. Yeah, okay. Right, so how many times the main character got wet was actually a load of times because in the SpongeBob SquarePants universe, you can get wet while you're in water because there's like another stage of yeah. water, you know? So that was 5, 10, 15, 19. 19. 19 times the character got wet. And the last, the last category is character drinks. Now, a character drank twice in the movie. Yeah. Twice, uh, twice times in the movie, a character drank. That was when SpongeBob SquarePants and Patrick Starr were crying about not being able to. Uh, oh yes, that's that that scene. <laughs> yeah, we're not being able to be men. Um, they were crying because they weren't men. and They're were afraid of not being able to save the day, and and basically they were crying into each other's mouths and spitting it out, and then like you know regurgitating yeah. it, which I counted as drinking. So I got two counts of drinking happening. Right, so I'm just going to uh, just, uh, oh, let's see. Oh, I thought I brought a pen with me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe you did. No. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this right now. So, um, you know, Michael, I mean, if you have any opinions to say, uh, you can. I'm gonna just try and sort <laughs> I, out this I, movie. I, I don't really know if I have uh, any opinions. Uh, it's a fantastic movie. Mm -hmm. uh, I recommend if you haven't seen it to definitely go watch it immediately. Even if you have seen it, just just rewatch it, like the rest of the night um to get you through the times when uh when what are you talking about isn't on screen oh oh there's a there's a bit of agreement there is there uh yeah well, i mean talk to him oh, 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 oh. I, I i don't know what he's saying that's the problem um I, i'm trying to understand he, he kind of he kind of agrees with you he yeah. kind of uh, okay well yeah he feels he feels uh seals were a little left out in the movie oh, okay yeah yeah, yeah. yeah uh, it, which, it didn't get a seal of approval absolutely absolutely i might i might take you on the writing team <laughs> i might take you on the writing team we have a pretty we have a pretty strict writer writer's room i think you'll fit in just fine nice one. yeah so um i've punched up the numbers anyway and the spongebob squarepants movie gets a whopping 67 q <gasps> damn yeah. Yeah, that's a 67Q. Uh, so basically, 67Q in comparison to other things uh, gives it. Now, I haven't got anything queued up here. See, this is normally connected to my laptop, which I just realized I could have just done myself. I don't know why yeah. I'm using Willem's laptop when I have my laptop here with all the sounders, which is kind of dumb. But look, you know, this is, you know, I got another show to yeah. hash out all these. All right, so uh, we're going to hit that with the only thing that uh spongebob uh spongebob really deserves so basically in the what in the in this segment right uh, how it works is in the segment how it works is basically a good movie gets the leaky faucet right. leaky faucet of disapproval and the best movie gets showered of praise nice, nice so we're gonna see what we're gonna find out what spongebob squarepants gets Sounds like a shower. Yeah, really, really flipping loud shower. Yeah. yeah, that's correct though. SpongeBob SquarePants movie deserves to get shower to praise, nice. baby. Woo! Oh my goodness. Yeah. Well, that's it, really. That's it for the. That's it for this broadcast. Nice. I think that was. What are you talking about? Um, but what we do in the last segment, right? So I like to imagine that the entire time we've been doing this show, uh, we're filling up a sink. Okay. Okay. All right, we're filling up a sink from the hour from from five o'clock now to ten to five, ten to six. We've been filling a water. We've been filling a sink full of water. Now to get rid of that water, we're gonna need to pull the plug. So I'm just wondering, you got any plugs? Uh, yes, my uh, my 
Comedy Box Show, uh, one o'clock every Monday. Um, UC Musical Society's uh, Curtains, which is coming out, uh, which is being uh, shown in April, I believe. And also uh, Vocal Group, every Monday, six o'clock to eight o'clock, if you like singing and you you know you don't you don't want to audition for stuff it's the perfect place for you to be and it's a big group of people that will sing along with you it's great oh man what kind of songs you do uh p- mostly purely musical but uh mm-hmm. sometimes we, we we kick into some other stuff all right well um i would like to remind everybody once again to donate uh to the belfield F- well to the to uh, our gofundme which is linked should be linked right below us uh, it's for the drcc it would be it's a really great cause so uh it would be fantastic if you guys could donate anything that you can muster uh we'd really appreciate it we're going to be ki- we're going to continue going for another uh for another for another how many uh, willem What's our, what's, our, what's our timer on? How many hours do you got left? 17 hours. Eight 17 minutes, hours, seconds. 8 minutes, and 43 seconds. Wow. Okay. Well, that's we've been going for a while already. Yeah. All right. So um, thank you all. Thank you so much uh, to my head writer, Eva Nolan. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to drop it right now. Uh, Eva Nolan is the person that uh, oh. donated uh, 20 euros. So thank you so much for that. You're amazing. Uh, we really appreciate it. And uh, I would like to thank you for guesting thank uh being a fantastic much. guest thank you for re- for allowing me to to sail on your ship today oh my god <laughs> well you know how to get into a man's heart I'll tell you that much. <laughs> right i would like to thank slippery philip for you know being on the ones and twos making sure everything's going well Yeah, he's telling you guys to donate, so I'm going to go ahead and say, please donate. And thank you for Belfield FM for having us for another week, and we're going to sign off now. So, and toodle pip. Don't forget, I'm gonna... don't forget to, sign, to uh, watch your show later. Oh, oh my God. 12 o'clock. My goodness. See, this is why you need, need you on the writing staff. <laughs> yeah, so I'm doing a show at 12 o'clock today as well. So that is six, that is five hours 12 from midnight. now. 12, that's, yeah, that's 12 midnight for you uh, analog clock fans out there. So basically, I'm doing a show at, twi- at zero, zero hours, zero, zero, hundred hours. Yes. And it's going to be a very special episode of What Are You Talking About? It's going to be What Are You Investigating? Where I and maybe some other people will be discussing a fictional character's relationship to water. And this week, we're going to be doing... This week we're going to be doing um, what's it? Blah, blah, blah. This week we're going to be doing Waluigi. We're going to investigate kind of what about Waluigi's character is uh, the best. Uh, sorry, I'm just getting distracted by the chat. Um, anyway, so we're going to be doing um, we're going to be doing Waluigi. We're going to see what kind of vibe he has with water, and we're going to judge him on a scale. Anyway, um, that's it from us. Uh, see you later. Hey, see you later, yeah. and tune in. Keep keep tuned in for. Um, an interview with... Yeah, I'm just going to say an interview because I don't know the person's name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, an interview with someone who volunteers at the uh, DRCC. So stick around for that. I'm going to head it over to Ashanti. Uh, yep. Yeah. All right, lads. Hey. Where am I to right. go? Me dying, so where am I to go? So where am I to go? Bound to go <laughs> to Ray. Bound.